Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nicole and I make a lot of different videos on this channel. Today I thought I would just get ready and film it, but I also wanted to talk about the update with my skin disorder. I know I got a couple people on here that actually have the same skin disorder as I do. And thank you so much for commenting on my diagnosis video because I truly thought that I was like one of the only people that I was ever going to meet with the same skin disorder that I have. Um, it was really hard for me to make that video just because when I was younger I was extremely uncomfortable even talking about it. Um, it's extremely also very um, complex skin disorder to have so someone that understands what I'm going through and I completely understand what you're going through is really cool to be able to talk to so thank you so much for commenting on that video and I'm just gonna share um, what's been going on with my skin and then I'm also just gonna be getting ready and I'm gonna share some tips and probably I'm also going to show some of the things that I use to kind of help with my skin disorder. So if you're interested, keep on watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video. And without further ado, let's get ready because I'm looking crazy right now. But I have these little cat ears just keeping my hair back. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but I dyed my hair like a couple weeks ago. And I tried to dye it burgundy, and for some reason, it literally only dyed half my hair. So now, um, like, the top of my head is red, and then the bottom is just, I don't know, it's kind of brown. I don't know. But I'm not sure if I want to re-dye it again or just leave it and let it fade out. As you can see right here, you can kind of tell. But I'm just going to keep it like this for a little bit. I don't really like to dye my hair. I haven't dyed my hair before this for like over a year. Over probably over two years actually. Oh yeah, and let's just ignore the fact that there is a pile of laundry right here that has not been put away. It'll get done when it gets done, but I like to add some chopstick before I start to get ready. But I use the Tula Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. This one. And it just like helps pretty much with my, um, what is it called? My dark circles. And it just cools the area. So it kind of helps it so it's not so puffy. I have naturally like really dark eyes in general. But yeah. Um, so in my last video of my, where I told you guys how I got diagnosed with my skin disorder and a little bit about it, I mentioned that I was going on light treatments and I also mentioned that I was going to um, be taking or using some medicine and I actually tried it out. So I did not do light treatment and I'll explain that in just a little bit on why. But um, I tried the cream that they gave me and my skin doctor all just let me know that it was a new cream that I've never tried before. And guys, I've tried all kinds of stuff. So I was like, whatever, I'll just give it a shot. Um, so with insurance, guys, this cream was $120. $120 with insurance. So I can't even imagine what how much it costs without insurance. But that's just, it is what it is. Um, so two of these tubes are 100 bucks, And this is, I think, 60 ml. Yeah, 60 grams of the medicine. It's called Elidil um, Cream. So you just put it on the little sores. You don't rub it all over your leg, but you just put it on the sores. <clears throat> you just put it on the sores. And it's supposed to, like, dry it out, close the sore, make it so it doesn't itch. Well, for me, it actually did the opposite, and I feel like it broke out my legs even more. And I'll probably throw a picture up here of what it looked like, but it was really, really, really bad. Um, so I just stopped using it because, I mean, I you could tell I only used like half of the thing. And I, right away, within a week, it just broke my legs out. This is not to say that it won't work for you, but for me, 
definitely didn't work it didn't do anything for me so I just stopped using it and ever since I stopped using it my legs have been amazing I haven't seen them this clear since probably two years I haven't seen it this clear and I'll take pictures and post right here what my legs look like now and I'm just so happy I usually don't add um anything to my legs just because it like every time I like use lotion or anything like that it just makes me want to itch my legs um so I just don't even I just let them dry out to be honest and I'm just adding some lotion, um, moisturizer to my face. I try not to add any perfumes or anything like that to my skin. But I'm literally just adding some lotion. I'm using, I've always, I've always used for my skin ever since I fill. So this is the one I have right now. This is like the only one that I can use pretty much on my arms really. And it not itch me. Um, and then this one is the advanced relief lotion with shea butter Don't really use this one too much, but it also works really well um, Neither of them have scents Oh my gosh, I have to sneeze Phil came out with the soothing gel cream with aloe So if you have what I have or if you have any kind of itchy skin disorder try this out it's um, Like a cream you can't really tell Nope, you can't tell. But it's like a thick, light cream. And I use it when my skin gets extremely itchy. And I'll uh, sometimes put it in the fridge and let it get really cold. And then rub it in the areas where I'm really itchy and just let it sit there. Um, I also use really cold aloe vera and place it in the itchy spots. I obviously, obviously wash it off afterwards because it does make me itchy, but if I'm extremely itchy, I use it to kind of cool my skin off. Um, so I got so busy talking that I completely forgot to start getting ready. I always do that, guys, but um, that's why I barely film these videos. But, um, oh yeah, so I use aloe vera, and I throw that in the fridge and, um, and use it for like when my skin gets extremely itchy mainly on my legs guys my arms have been okay I've actually been breaking out in my stomach um kind of see in my arm area just a little bit and I haven't had it on my arms and my stomach since I was uh, probably about 17 18 and I'm 25 now almost 26 so it's been pretty weird and it's kind of weird too because my legs are fine right now actually um the skin disorder just pretty much goes up and down another thing that i do is i use ice i know it sounds brutal but it's really been the only thing that i can use that's not medicine or no oil nothing just literally water is just i freeze ice cubes put them in a bowl and i typically use it for like my underneath my feet and I just dip my feet in there and it helps so I don't itch because that's my main problem is they're like little so I guess I should explain what it is really because I don't remember if I really said this in my last video but it's like blisters that your skin gets so right here I don't know if you guys can tell these are like little blisters and they itch they itch I mean extremely bad not everywhere I have one right there that's really itchy um, and they itch like extremely bad and so the way that I stop it the way that I stop kind of the itch is by putting cold things on it so I don't hurt my skin obviously um, sometimes I have naturally open sores because the blisters will pop <coughs> excuse me the blisters will pop and then it'll just be open so I mean it pretty much sucks um, oh yeah I don't know if you guys are interested in what I put on my face but I've used this palette forever and I just use um, these two colors right here for my eyebrows and just mix them and then put them on I also get my eyebrows threaded which I need to get done ASAP I don't know if
if you guys can tell in the camera, but they need to get done. I typically don't like doing my makeup when my eyebrows aren't done because I feel like it messes up my whole face. Well, messes up my look that I'm trying to go with. Typically don't do my makeup often. I'm only doing my makeup today. One, because I wanted to film while I'm doing it. And um, two, it's my dad's birthday today. And so I think we're going to go out to eat um, with him. That's why I'm doing it. But if you're going through this skin disorder, I just want you to know that you're not alone and don't let people tell you that it's something that it's not because it's a very complex skin disorder. It's actually, even the doctors have told me that it's very complex and they don't really know much about it. The main thing is and I'm gonna get into this a little bit more once I get further into my makeup, but I, in the last video I mentioned that I was going to do light treatments. I did light treatments before when I was younger and I would go twice a week. And I think I did it for about, I would say like five months. I went twice a week, sometimes I would miss, but because I didn't have insurance back then, um, they would charge me 40 bucks every time I would go in so you guys can do the math um, 80 bucks a week for a month it gets pretty pricey and not to mention when you start light treatments you only go in the incubator for about three seconds and then it increases I believe up to like 25 to 30 seconds I, I feel like was the last time that I was in there for that long so you're literally paying like 40 bucks for like a couple seconds in a machine. So just think about like how powerful that machine is. Um, what it does is it cures your skin from the inside out. Because the skin disorder that I have, it's not on the outside. It's not like eczema dry patches. It's actually below the fat. That's where the skin um, has problems. So when you go into the machine, when you go into the machine, it cures your skin from the inside out. So it's kind of like burning, I would say, like from the inside out. So it closes the sore. Um, so the more you go, like the more your skin is like closing from the inside out. And then it just closes the, the sore. And then it just turns into, I would say, scars. Like I'll show you guys one right here. I don't know if you'll be able to see you guys because I don't know if you guys can tell but there's one right there um, these are pretty much closed and there's just left like um, like spots I guess one right here and it's just like red but it's closed um, it'll be like it won't come back you know I don't think if you keep going obviously with your light treatments So now I'm just going to do concealer and I use the Maybelline Fit Me Fair Claire number 10 and I need to get a new one because it's literally almost out. So I went to my doctor and my doctor told me, I, I think I mentioned this in my last video, but my doctor told me I'd have to go to light treatments three times a week for three months straight and then see if that has the same effect that it did when I was like 15, 16. So I was like, okay, cool. Um, she said, we'll have to contact your insurance to make sure that they approve it. So I waited about um, two weeks and I haven't heard nothing from my doctor. So I called them and I was like, hey, supposed to get a call from you guys to see when I can go in and schedule my appointment for light treatment so I guess the insurance hadn't approved it yet so I waited a couple more days and they finally called me back and they said your insurance approved it um, let us know when you would like to come in for your first treatment so I said um, you know ASAP as soon as possible and then she told me that because my deductible for the year 
has not yet been made or met um, that my light treatments every single time I'd go in I'd be paying around 118 for my light treatments and I told her I was like well that's crazy because when I used to go this is this was like nine ten years ago when I used to go it was only 40 bucks every time I go in so I'm like okay can you what if you guys just say like I don't have insurance how much would it be would it make a difference I was just trying to see like you know if I could get it for less without insurance because that's how much I was used to paying and you guys do the math but hundred and eighteen dollars three times a week for three months that's a lot of money but that's more than our grocery bill um, and our grocery bills a lot so you guys do the math on that so I told her I said call me back let me know if I can just go in as a patient without um, insurance and she was like yeah I'll check for you you know that is a lot of money and I was like yeah that is that's that's a lot of money like nobody has that much money to go for you know one treatment that's way too much not to mention you're only in this machine for a couple seconds like it's stupid honestly guys it's stupid it's ridiculous um but I'm not gonna get into how much I hate our medicine here in the US and all of that because that would be a whole other video so she checked for me and she called me back and she said that was you know nine to ten years ago and I told her yeah I know but I just want to make sure that if I can get it for less that would be great and she said that is the new price for the light treatment and since you haven't met your deductible that's how much it's gonna be even if I went without insurance it would they told me it would still be the same price which I was like that's weird because usually when you don't have insurance it would be you're you'd be paying like a lot more you know so I'm like okay whatever um and then she's like do you want to schedule an appointment to come in and I was like well I'm gonna call you back on that cuz that's like way too much money you know and uh, I've tried like other things like natural remedies to try and help and they seem to help a little bit but obviously with the skin disorder it doesn't cure your skin your skin's never gonna be the same after having it you can go one or two years without getting like a breakout but to be quite honest, I've always had it, whether it was my arms, my legs was, my legs I've had since, my legs have been bad since I was 16 years old, um, to where they've never gone, they've never been the same, even now, if you've seen the picture that I threw up, like, that's how good they have been since I got the skin disorder, so that says a lot because they're still they're still always going to be scarred there I'm always going to have blisters um come and go so it's never going to be completely how my legs were which I'm okay with now but it is frustrating because of the itchiness it's not so much the what it looks like for me it's the itchiness is extremely annoying and it burns that's what I don't like about it so I'm going with a very simple look today. I think I'm just going to add this color right here. It's called Dusty Rose. I love this palette. Look at those colors. But it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Soft Glam palette. Um, I'm just going to throw that on my eyelid, guys. I'm not doing anything crazy because I don't feel like it. I'm just trying to get ready for the day. Um... So as I was saying, I told her, I said I'd call her back and let her know. And she was like, yeah, that's that's not, you know, the best price. And I was like, no, that's actually really bad. And she said the thing that I could do would be to write my insurance so that they could, um, you know, bill me or work out like a payment plan with my insurance. But because I haven't met my deductible, I don't know how realistic that even is. Um... So I think what I'm going to do is just not even go 
I also have had other questionable things that make me not even want to do light treatment anymore. I had a breast biopsy um, last year. And for some reason, I feel like that has a lot to do with me being in that machine at such a young age. And so it makes me not want to even go back in the machine. Like, if it's burning, like, my my skin cells or, like, if it's burning that far deep into my skin, like, what is it doing to the rest of my body, you know? So this is not to, like, scare anybody from doing light treatment, but... You do have to think, like, this machine, you're only in there for a couple seconds, and so um, you have to kind of question, like, what is it doing to the rest of my body? Because, yeah, it's curing one part, but you know what is it doing to the rest? So, um, as of recently, I stopped the medicine that they've given me. Like I said, I feel like it literally broke my skin out even more. So I'm just kind of waiting to see um, if I want to go back or maybe even see a different doctor and get a second opinion on something else that I could do. But at the moment, my skin is doing the best that it's ever, you know, been. I haven't done... And see, that's the thing. Like, people think it's what you're eating, it's what you're doing, what you're thinking about, you being stressed, and it's really not. It's literally from the inside of your skin it's damaged and whenever it feels like popping up it'll pop up and it'll come in waves so it's always been like that for me one year I'll be fine the next month it's been the worst and the next month it it has been the best so it's very complex um for me I've just tried to deal with it and accept it because I feel like if I don't accept it. I'm not, I'm not going to want to live, you know, miserable and scared to like, I don't know, do things. But if you have this skin disorder, don't be ashamed of what your skin looks. Um, everybody has something that they don't like about themselves. And for me, it was definitely my skin for a long time. And now it's not. Um, I really don't care what my skin looks like anymore. Um, obviously, I wish it didn't look like that. Like, I would much rather have clear skin. I, what else? I'm trying to think of, like, tips that I could share with you guys of what I did when I was younger. Um, I definitely, when I was younger, I used to hide how my skin looked. So... Not just because my doctor said that I couldn't be, like, outside with open sores and, like, obviously because it can cause more damage to my skin, but even when it was cold out and, like, I don't know, I just would always try to find an excuse to, like, hide what my skin looked like, but if you are young or if you have this skin disorder and you're scared of what people will think trust me it's not worth it it's not worth the suffering go out there do you wear whatever you want um people will ask and people will say you know things that are stupid like i've gotten plenty of people that would say did you get bit by mosquitoes like what's on your skin oh my god like that looks terrible yes i know i know it looks terrible I'm not blind, you know, but you just got to tell them. And sometimes it's hard to explain what you have and it's hard to deal with, you know, your skin being a certain way. But it's you. You're going through it for a reason. Maybe it's to help somebody else. Maybe it's to grow, you know, personally in your life. Like, for me, oh my God, my voice. For me, it literally took forever for me to be able to wear shorts like around my friends or like around, you know, my husband. Well, now my husband, but like my boyfriend at the time because I was like scared of like, you know, embarrassing him of like how my skin would look. And that's not even, that's not even, I don't even know. I don't even know. I was a whole different person back then. But if that was me now, honestly, I'd slap myself. Girl, do you wear whatever you want. If people ask, 
I have a skin disorder. That's literally my answer to everything. And if they want to get more into details, you can tell them. But I don't know. I just feel like your skin shouldn't stop you from, you know, doing the things that you love. Like, I still go in the water in in the pool. Like, I still go out in the sun and wear shorts. Um, I know I probably shouldn't all the time, but I'm just living life and enjoying it because when I was younger I would cover my up to my neck because I don't want nobody seeing you know how my skin looked and that's no way to live guys also I feel like when I film videos I'm like gasping for air like I feel like I'm like like running but it's just because I'm talking too much I talk way too much sometimes did I tell you guys the foundation I use probably not I use the Fit Me 120 Classic Ivory, and this is the Dewy and Smooth for Normal to Dry Skin. And my this is literally it, guys. I don't do much makeup. I'm probably gonna add some concealer because my bags today are crazy. Also, if um, you have this skin disorder or another kind of skin disorder please let me know because i love to hear people's stories and what they're going through it definitely helped me out to research um what i had when i was younger because i knew nobody with it i knew a lot of people with eczema i didn't know like anyone else with like a complex skin disorder so just let me know um if you have any skin disorder and like what do you do because i feel like we can all learn from experiences even if we don't have a skin disorder it's always good to hear what people are going through and how they're able to overcome that it's definitely encouraging and inspiring to me to hear other people's stories because it definitely helped me out when I needed it the most um when I was younger I used to look I used to watch um I still watch her but I used to watch and still watch Carly Bible and I watched her because she had um, I believe like really bad eczema and so every time I'd watch her I'd get encouraged um, to like you know be myself um, and she you could tell like in her journey she was like struggling really bad with trying to find medicine for it and she would try different things to help her skin and so I enjoyed watching her I could relate to her it was really cool um, to have somebody to look up to so let me know if you have that skin disorder or anything else it's really cool to hear what people are doing so I just used um, my concealer again my bags are really bad today guys I don't know why I'm just gonna add some powder underneath I used to do my makeup, like literally it would take me like maybe close to an hour to do. I'm not, I'm not gonna say an hour because I doubt it I spent an hour on my makeup, maybe some days, but realistically maybe like 30 to 45 minutes on my makeup. And I would like take my time and use all these different eyeshadows. And after I had kids, I was like, I got time for this. Well, maybe when I had like Mia, I still had time for it and maybe Ellie too because it was only two kids. But my youngest right now is napping and my older ones and my younger daughter, Yesenia, they're watching Wonder Woman. And they actually really like that movie. They're, they've been in a, um, on a kick right now watching all the superhero movies and they love it my son is obsessed obsessed with spider-man which is like the cutest thing because i've been used to having um boys I, psh, i've been used to having girls and so it's different like seeing him like interact with you know superhero stuff and liking all the action and fighting scenes he'll act them out it's funny my daughter Mia is actually obsessed with superheroes too. I think that's what they're gonna be for Halloween this year. They've all um, planned their outfits out. 
Ellie's actually interested in watching the Captain Marvel and I have not seen that yet. I've seen Captain America and I love that movie. But I have not seen Captain Marvel. Oh, hopefully this looks okay. <laughs> On camera it always looks different than in person. My makeup, but I always drag everything down to my neck because I usually wear just t-shirts. So it's not like you're going to be able to see it. Let me fix this. I just straightened my hair this morning. So for my curling little thing, I used the Tarte one. And I think I got a gift card to Sephora. So that's when I picked this up. Oh my nose. And then I've always used the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume Mascara, the orange one. And I think this is very black. I like the, the brown one too. Um, I don't really like the waterproof one because it is waterproof so it's super hard to come off but if you're going to be around water it's a good one to have the the same one but it's waterproof if I could open this so I just curl my eyelashes and this without filming this video it'd probably take me like maybe 15 minutes to get done um and probably less I just curl my eyelashes and then add some mascara a little bit and then I'll curl it again and then add some more mascara this one's almost out I could feel it kind of drying out I need to go get some more but I picked up this um, chapstick from Dollar Tree and it's so good it actually smells really good too and I got two of them for one dollar so if you're on the lookout for a chapstick and you're at Dollar Tree try that one that's what it looks like I actually think I'm gonna leave it curled like so I usually do my bottom lashes really fast um, you can tell the difference between that one and this one so that is pretty much it I'm gonna just kind of get under here I creased up a little bit but after I do that it should be fine um, so that is pretty much it guys this is what I do when I try and get ready really fast um, I already straightened my hair and this is what it looks like you can kind of tell what I meant earlier by me dyeing it but this is it this is what I do when I am going somewhere really quick or whatever usually I'll go extra and do like extra eyeshadow and put on some lashes but I don't have time for that today um, I hope this video helps somebody out that is struggling with the skin disorder or struggling like me with my skin disorder it's been a rough <laughs> a rough life no but it's been a rough thing to talk about and it's been definitely like really hard to explain to people because I feel like you don't really know what it's like unless you're going through it. So I feel you out there if you have a skin disorder like mine or the same exact one. I feel you. Um, if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask me. I try my best to answer them um, truthfully and quickly. And yeah, if I have any other updates or if you guys want to see anything else on my skin disorder, please let me know and I'll film it for you. I hope this helped you out. Hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.